Hey, what's up? It's Vigilant. I know what you're thinking. I don't want to cry. Now get me a good antivirus. So we're going to head over to bitdefender.com. Now this one's free, by the way, and it has a lot of good stuff. So we're, it's going to have this cool website, whatever. You go to the top, it'll have their logo. Home. And you're going to go to free antivirus. You're going to hit download now, and it's going to download basically an installation file. And you're just going to run it. I'm basically going to do some tests to see how well it works. I have a few friends that are going to lend me some programs that are actually disguised as horrible malware that would destroy any computer. Now Bitdefender, one of the best industries in the business for antivirus. It's basically Bitdefender and Kaspersky that are kind of leading this. They're both kind of recognized as the best in the sense that they will pick up most day zero stuff and they have a lot of good modules. For example, the anti-ransomware module which will stop ransomware on your computer. Well, most of them at least. And if they start encrypting files, it'll stop them, and even in some cases, it can unencrypt the files right away. It also has behavior modules for those day zero viruses. Now we're just gonna hit install. Those day zero viruses happen just as they happen. You really can't defend against them straight away, so they have behavior technology that can track some of these day zero viruses and determine that it is a threat to your computer and stop it. Now, Bitdefender, it's super light, and the free edition is especially super light. You just kind of have it in the background. It uses little RAM, and it basically, you have the uh, active protection on, and it's just going to, like, download a file, for example. It'll scan it real quick. You know, it's not going to use a lot of RAM doing that. You can still open the file, but if it determines it's malware, it's just going to get rid of it. You know, it's going to put it into its quarantine, and then the virus won't be active. Now, you really don't need an antivirus, unless your friends are sending you sketchy files, or you're downloading, like, mods for a game, and those mods seem a bit sketchy. But, as you can see, the WannaCry virus could jump computer to computer using a Windows exploit, so if you have people, you know, in your home network that are as advanced with computers as you are, then you might want this, because you don't know if some friend of yours is on his laptop and he just about installs everything he sees, and then that just jumps to your computer, because that wouldn't be fun. The only downside of this really is that you have to make an account, and I remember last year they got into a scandal where all their passwords were just kind of stored in plain text. So even though they're like the best antivirus on the network, they kind of, uh, didn't have that good security. So what I recommend, you know, put like a, a password that's not important to you. Like don't put your normal password for everything else. Put in a password that if it gets leaked again for some reason, then your PayPal isn't empty, you know what I'm saying? So you're gonna hit sign into Bitdefender. Now basically you're just gonna create an account here or you can sign in. So I already have an account, so I'll sign in real quick. I guess I forgot to mention you can also sign in with Google Plus. Facebook and I think maybe a Windows account too, like a Microsoft email. Maybe not, but they do have some installation options, like you can just click on your Google account and that's good. So it's gonna do the install and then we're gonna do some tests. So here it is, it's really lightweight. So as you can see, you know, it's not some huge interface. I don't really recommend doing a system scan unless you're going to bed, you know. It's gonna take a long time, you know. I did it once, took like five hours. So, I mean, it, it tries to not use a lot of resources, so the system scan's gonna take forever. Instead, I'd recommend, say you got like a mod pack, you could drag it in here to scan it. But for the most part, it's actually gonna be using its active protection shield to be scanning stuff. So it can scan files and kind of determine as time goes on, you know, what is that file doing on your computer? And if it does get blocked, say you see a file disappear, you can check here and see if it gets thrown in the quarantine. And there's also stuff like files you don't want removed, and here's all the events like updates and whatnot. So now we're gonna go and get some malware samples and see what's going on. So we can see here that I just downloaded nonleggybooter.exe. This was from my friend, it's an encrypted booter. So I know what you're thinking, you're like, what, 11 years old, you're trying to boot off everybody on Black Ops 2, you're so hyped for this. Psych. This is actually a horrible ransomware virus. This is probably one of the ransomwares that Bitdefender usually cannot unencrypt. It's one of the scarier ones. But as you can see, if we go to our download section here, it's just unconfirmed. We go to Chrome, insufficient permissions. I'm trying to hit resume, nothing's happening. Let's go over to Bitdefender. So we can see that's ransomware Razzy. Now I'm a bit confused what kind of friends I have that are sending me, uh, you know, ransomware files, but, uh... As you can see, Bitdefender stubbed an encrypted ransomware file just, like, even before it was even fully downloaded on my computer, it was blocked. So you can see it stopped an encrypted ransomware file that, uh... 
you know, black hats send me best friends, right? So as you can see, Bitdefender works really well. I hope you enjoy. And the link to this product will be in the description. It's definitely a great product. I use it still today. It's free, lightweight, and it's really good. As you can see, that encrypted ransomware was just deleted from my system immediately. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.